Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I am Vashon Brown. Oil prices tumbled more than 6% today, hitting their lowest in almost three weeks. This comes as supply disruption fears eased and surging COVID-19 cases in China spurred demand concerns. Brent futures dropped by $6.99 to settle at $99.91 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude fell $6.57 to close at $96.44 a barrel. Now, both contracts settled below $100 per barrel for the first time since late February. Edufoca listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange today, becoming the first educational technology company to do so. The company is the second to list on the junior market this week. Javon Keyes reports. Investors now have access to a local education technology company with the listing of Edufocal on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange today. The vision is big and the mission is great, but we are up to the task. We aim to transform education and knowledge development by providing an engaging platform and digital tools and asset, and asset libraries. The company, which offered to the market 129.6 million ordinary shares at a dollar each, saw a significant demand in shares. Managing Director of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, Marlene Street Forest, says this is a good sign for the equities market. $428.2 million came in as an inflow based on the level of subscription, though the company only desired to have 129 0.69 million. What it means is the confidence, but it means also that there is money in the system. The company now has 2,415 shareholders. Mrs. Street Forest says the listing, which is the 43rd on the junior market, has positively impacted the market capitalization. Including the 129.6 million raised, the total capital raised by the companies listed on the junior market amounts to 13.36 billion dollars. For the business day, I'm Javon Keyes. It's costing an average $153.45 for the US currency. $120.15 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar and $201.65 for the pound. Now the euro is trading at $170.48. The JC index declined by 3,408 points today, while the Juno market index declined by 38 points. Among the winners were Edufocal, JFP, Jetcon Corporation, Jamaica Stock Exchange, and AMG Packaging and Paper Company. And on the losing side were Cargo Handlers, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, Lumber Depot, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, and Mayberry Investments. And that's the business day. I am Vashon Brown. Have a good evening.